You can't be a liar and a thief and a murderer in front of God's folk because he's going to have to kill you in a minute because you're messing up his body with all that junk you're doing. See, crooked ways will keep, get you killed in God's economy if he manifests himself. Ananias and Sapphira fi figured it out on the other side of the grave that we shouldn't have told that lie back over there. Now, you, you sitting together over here probably in hell. It's a little bit late now. So now you woke up in hell with a lie on your lips. See, folk can tell lies and they think God is not taking account of it. God takes account of everything you do. He don't let you know it, but the reaping will let you know it. Everything you do is going to be accounted for, no matter how small it is. I mean, you're talking about a, a person that manages a ledger. Yeah. Every accountant will tell you what? And books got the balance, got the balance buddy. Yeah. They call it reconciliation. Right. You got to reconcile those books. And, that, and when you look at that one column, Debit, credit, debit, credit. It got to move from one account to another. So if you, if you debit one account, you got to credit another one. Because when you try to reconcile those books, see, and that's what God's going to do. He's going he gonna to balance the books. The old saying in the world about justice is what? The wheels of justice, justice will grind slow, but they grind sure. Justice will track you down. And you lying in front of people thinking you saying something and getting by. And you just cursed your life. You know, I was at QT one morning. And I got a cup of French vanilla coffee. Two dollars and, you know, that French vanilla coffee going up over there to a small cup. It used to be a dollar eighty-five cent. <laughs> I think it was two old four or something that morning, you know. I'm thinking like, y'all got some new cups or something? But anyway, I got a cup of coffee. 2004, I gave later, the man a five. I gave him a five. He gave me back uh, four dollars and some change. So I just took the money, you know, and then y'all wasn't looking at it. I just took the money and started walking out. I realized he gave me four dollars. Now, the fool says, I got, I got a dollar, man. The Lord bless me with a dollar. Know what's really happening? Devil gonna set me up. You know how he's gonna set me up? He's gonna take more than what I stole from QT. He set you up for the curse by making you believe you got over. I got that dollar back to that guy so fast, man. I started giving back the yeah, you just did the whole four dollar, man. <laughs> see, you don't see the devil will set you up thinking you got a got over. Only to find out they're going to cost you $5,000 later. See, it don't happen immediately, but down the road, you can't figure out why you got cursed. But you took that dollar from QT. And everything you sold does what in the spirit world? It multiplied. So the devil knows what he's doing. He's testing you to see. You know, slide this over here and see. If you go for it, then he let you get it and go. And you think you got away. Only to find out six months later it's going to cost you heavy when your house burned down or your car is destroyed. Or, see, he going to reconcile the books because you gave him what? Legal rights. He got legal rights to enter in to destroy you from your own greed and your own covetousness trying to get something for nothing. It don't happen.